Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Come on in the house, come on in the house. There's room for you in the house. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day the Lord hath made and we will rejoice. Hallelujah, and we'll be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. It's a marvelous day. It's a day that we've never seen before. And having therefore obtained help from God, we continue unto this day, witnessing to those both great and small. Good morning. Come on in the house. Come on in the house. This is the house of prayer. And we're excited to see each of you gathering with us this morning because it's high time to pray with Pastor Val. We're excited because God continues to do great and marvelous things for us, whereof we are so glad. Amen. We thank the Lord for each of you joining us this morning on the live. Hey, so, amen. So glad to see you, Trustee Mosby. The star of my crown, Sister Webb, God bless you. Ah, oh, we thank the Lord this morning, Missionary Ruby. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. And we're grateful. Hallelujah. Cousin Pat is here to assist and to encourage us as we continue to go forth. We're so grateful this morning. Amen. This wonderful, hot, sunny morning that God has made. Hallelujah. And we're going to get right into our prayer this morning. Amen. We're praying that God just continues to cover us, to keep us. Amen. Brother Larry, hallelujah. It's not always easy, but if God permitted, it's doable and we can do this thing. So let us go forth. Hallelujah. In our prayer. And uh, today we're going forth with Galatians 6, verses 9 through 11. This is the last chapter in our series on the book, uh, in the book of Galatians. Hallelujah. So we want to complete, amen, the uh, passage of scriptures that we have for today. Galatians 6, verses 9 through 11. Hallelujah. We want you to please like and share this broadcast. Like and share as we go forward reading our scriptures this morning. Galatians 6, 9 through 11. And our prayer focus this morning is glorify God. Glorify God. Let us read. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Ye see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand. As, hallelujah, 9 through 11, that's it, hallelujah. That is it. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his holy word. Amen. We have another passage of scripture where Apostle Paul is yet encouraging us to continue. Stay in the race. Don't quit. Whatever you do, Mother Williams, hallelujah, glorify God. Hallelujah. God is taking note of what we do. Hallelujah. And everything that we say. So therefore do good unto all men, especially brother Abram, the household of faith. Our God is good. He's rich in mercy and grace. And he wants us to go forward 
in him. So our prayer this morning is that God will just grace us. Hallelujah. Glorify God. That's our prayer focus. Glorify God. Lord, I want to lift you higher and higher. Why? Because you said in your word, if I would lift you up, hallelujah, that you would do the draw. Hallelujah. You would draw all men, hallelujah, unto me. So we thank God this morning and let us go forward now with our prayer. Won't you join me this morning? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for being our God. We thank you for being our redeemer, our strength. It's in you we live and move and have our being. Oh God, we thank you because you're so good to us. You're so mindful of us. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That you have given us breath to breathe this morning. You awoke us. Hallelujah. And when we awoke out of our sleep, our mind was on you. And Father, for that, we stop and we tell you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for what you've already done, for you've already done so much for us that if we had 10,000 tongues and used every one, it still wouldn't be enough to thank you for all that you have done. And for that, Lord, we're mighty grateful this morning. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, for this platform that you have given us to cry loud, spare not, to lift up our voice like a trumpet, to show people their sins so that they may repent and to seek you before it's everlasting too late. Father, we thank you, hallelujah. We're not ashamed, hallelujah, to be Christ-like, hallelujah. It is our desire to be holy because you are holy, hallelujah, and you are coming for a holy people. And Father, it is our prayer it is our desire, hallelujah, that when you call our name, whether it's now or whether it's in time of the rapture, hallelujah, that you find us ready, hallelujah, doing what you have ordained for us to do. And Father, it is our prayer this morning, hallelujah, as we have studied these set of scriptures, hallelujah, that you just allow us mm, even the more to know the value of glorifying you. Hallelujah. We have made up in our minds. It is our desire, Lord, to lift your name on high. And Father, we thank you, hallelujah, for every Facebook live, hallelujah, for every YouTube, hallelujah, video that you have given us to help spread the word of God. And Father, we thank you, hallelujah, for all of our family and friends, loved ones that have joined us. Amen. Evangelist Stone, hallelujah. We pray for you and for all the families, hallelujah, that God continue, hallelujah, to allow us to share the word of God through our praying. And Father, we pray this morning, hallelujah, that as Apostle Paul is noting that in that day, hallelujah, which is in today, hallelujah, that we need to encourage one another. We need to make sure, hallelujah, that we encourage one another to know that it's no time to pick flowers, hallelujah, it's no time to pick tulips on the side of the road, but it's time, hallelujah, to roll up your sleeves even the more and to say, I have work to do and I must work while it is day, for when night cometh, no man can work. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, oh, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that this is a day and a time that as we go forward, hallelujah, and you, we know, hallelujah, that we must persevere. Hallelujah, we must continue. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, we're so grateful this morning, hallelujah that we know your word not to be weary in well-doing. Hallelujah. You ought to stop and type somebody, hallelujah, and tell them to don't quit. Don't stop. Don't faint. Hallelujah. This is no time to quit. Ah, but it's time to continue to go forward even the more. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, as we pray the word of God this morning, 
Ah, Job 17, 9 declares, mm, the righteous shall also shall hold on his way. And he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. And it is our prayer this morning. Lord, let us have clean hands and a pure heart. Hallelujah. Ah, Zion, it's time out. Hallelujah for the fake. Hallelujah. It's time out for the phony. Hallelujah. But it's time for us to be authentic, genuine, Holy Ghost filled, speaking in tongue, hallelujah, baptize believers in Jesus' name. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, oh, we're grateful this morning as we pray, Lord, hallelujah, that you have given us the fortitude, hallelujah. You have given us the ability to go forward in you, hallelujah. We thank you, hallelujah, Sister Smith, that as the Lord continues to push us, hallelujah, closer to the destiny that he has for us, that we know according to the scripture in John 15, 9, we pray, as the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love, hallelujah. It is our desire, Lord, hallelujah, as we seek you the more, hallelujah, and as we pray through your scriptures, Lord, that you help us, uh, help us to love one another. Help us, Lord, to show love one to another, hallelujah. Ah, because we are not and will not be weary and well-doing. Let the church of the living God shout hallelujah. Ah, and we further pray hallelujah. Ah, Hebrews 12, 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run mm, with patience the race that is set before us. Zion, hallelujah. God is calling us to a higher place in him, hallelujah. That's why, hallelujah, we must, hallelujah, keep on the full armor of God that we may withstand all the fiery darts of the enemy, hallelujah. Knowing that, hallelujah, there is a great cloud of witnesses, hallelujah. They're all around us, hallelujah. They're even looking over the banisters of heaven. Mm. And they're encouraging you. And they're encouraging me. Hallelujah. Don't stop. Huh? And don't quit. But to continue to fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. Be not weary, Zion. Get this message in well-doing. Hallelujah. For we're going to reap, hallelujah. Ah, just type in the comment, it's harvest time. Ah, oh, yes, hallelujah. And while it's harvest time, be right, Evangelist Stone. We have to keep pressing forward. Why? Because it's time for us to gather in, hallelujah. Tell somebody, gather in, my brother. Gather in, my sister. Gather in my mother, gather in my father, gather in my family, hallelujah, gather in my household, why? Because God promised that he'll save my household and all of God's promises are yea and nay. Saints, don't give up, hallelujah, but continue to fight the good fight of faith. Let the church shout. Hallelujah. 
Ah, uh, lay aside. Come on, Zion. This is where the true believers stand up and lay aside. Hallelujah. Every, hallelujah, sin, every weight, hallelujah. Ah, uh, sometimes, hallelujah, we just be caring a little bit of this world too much. Hallelujah. But tell somebody, lay it aside. Lay aside the weights. Hallelujah. Mm. Lay aside the cares of this world. Why? Because we're in a race. Hallelujah. And when you're in a race, you got to travel right. Light. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us to wear this uh, city. Hallelujah. I wear this world. Hallelujah as a loose garment come on hallelujah because one of these days i am and it won't be long hallelujah the lord is gonna call for us hallelujah and we'll be going on hallelujah i hear you hallelujah you may say hallelujah pastor thou well, i'm only 21 years old and i got a long life ahead of me hallelujah but one thing is for sure hallelujah we know we have this present time hallelujah but we don't know hallelujah if we're gonna see tomorrow or not therefore while the blood is running warm in your vein that's what the old folks used to tell me <laughs> While the blood is running warm in your veins, hallelujah, you need to seek the Lord, hallelujah. Harden not your heart, hallelujah, but come on in the house, hallelujah, because it's going to rain, hallelujah. Come on in the house. Come on, Zion, help me pray this morning. Type in the comment section, come on in the house. This is the house of prayer, hallelujah. This is the house of protection. This is the art of safety, hallelujah. Because it's gonna rain and it's gonna rain down fire. Let the church shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Run this race mm, with patience, hallelujah. I'm reminded of a loved one told me the other day, hallelujah. In the midst of so much that's going on, said, Val, don't you worry about a thing. Hallelujah. Ah, and I know what they were saying was the absolute truth. Hallelujah. We don't have no need to worry because Zion, we know how to pray. Is that right? Hallelujah. We know how to pray, hallelujah, and touch the throne room of God, hallelujah. Ah, my God, that's why you have to be so careful. Ah, that in everything that you do, that you glorify God. You want to lift him higher. Mm. You want to lift him higher. Let the church out, hallelujah. Ah, we're grateful this morning. Hallelujah. Ah, because as we pray according to the scripture, 1 Peter 1, 13, wherefore gird up the loins of your mind. Come on, Zion. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah, that's a good place to type in the chat to be sober. Hallelujah. You don't have time and I don't have time. Hallelujah. Ah, to be sitting on the banks of the river, sipping a wine cooler, mm, sipping whiskey and gin. Hallelujah. Ah, but our minds need to be sober. Hallelujah. Come on, Zion. I'm talking about the real believers. Hallelujah. Because those that are perpetrating, hallelujah. Those that are fake and false prophets, hallelujah. They will have their part in the lake of fire. Hallelujah. But for as me and my house tell somebody, we're going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Let the church shout glory. Hallelujah. We pray according to Revelations 3, 11. Mm. Behold, ooh, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Hallelujah. Ah, I know you all wonder sometimes why when uh, Sister Patricia Webb is on here from my uh, home church of uh, Zion Temple, I said she's the star in my crown. Hallelujah. Ah, because it was through the ministry. Hallelujah. Of my mother. Hallelujah. Teaching us how to be little missionaries. Gathering our neighbors. Hallelujah. To go to Sunday school with us. Hallelujah. And uh, Bishop, the late Bishop Otis Garman, hallelujah, if you just allow me to tell this to the glory of God, hallelujah. He had an old school bus that he had painted blue, hallelujah. We as children, we used to call it the blue goose, ha! hallelujah. And when the blue goose would come into our neighborhood, hallelujah, we'd be done gathered up our little friends, hallelujah, to go to church with us, hallelujah. And one of those little friends was my neighbor across the street, Sister Emma Watson. Hallelujah. Ah, and through that mission, hallelujah, the Lord saved her and saved the household. Went on across the street to Sister Patricia Shaw then, who Patricia Webb now, hallelujah, and saved her and her family, hallelujah. And it continues into this day, hallelujah. The Bible says that your fruit will remain, hallelujah. I thank God this morning, hallelujah, for my sainted mother who's gone on from labor to reward, Evangelist Ernestine Emery, hallelujah. Ah, because she taught us, hallelujah, the word of God, hallelujah. Ah, back then we didn't have computers, we didn't have phones, hallelujah, we didn't have all this high tech stuff, hallelujah. Ah, but she would pray with us, anoint us with oil. Zion, I declare unto you this morning, mm, you that are under the sound of my voice, hallelujah. Ah, to have children, grandchildren, children that are around you, hallelujah. You need to gather them together, hallelujah, and teach them the unadulterated word of God, hallelujah. They're going to learn all of this other ungodly stuff anyway. Hallelujah. Ah, but you need to put in them the word of God. The Bible says to train up a child, Evangelist Harper, in the way he should go. Hallelujah. And when he's old, he won't depart from it. I'm so glad that is deep, 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 deep down in my soul. Hallelujah. I'm so glad, hallelujah, that the Lord saved me, hallelujah, and gave me a voice on this platform. I'm so glad, hallelujah, that I'm one of the real saints of God today, hallelujah. I have no mindset to be a perpetrator, to be a fake false prophet. Uh, ah, but it is my determination to be real. Hallelujah. I'm talking about real love. Hallelujah. That's the God kind of love, the agape love. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, for the old saints of Zion. Hallelujah teaching us and training us, putting it in us. Hallelujah. Why? So that we may be able to stand now in this wicked and perverted day. Let the church shout glory. Mm. Ah, I declare our prayer focus this morning is glorified God. And you ought to have it in your spirit. Hallelujah. As we're praying this morning to glorify God to lift God up. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, you must persevere. You must continue in this race if you want that crown. Hallelujah. You can't stop. Hallelujah. Because somebody talk about you. Hallelujah. 
because they run your name in the ground. Hallelujah. You can't stop. Hallelujah. Ah, because they don't want you in their click. Hallelujah. Who cares? Hallelujah. Ah, my God. Hallelujah. You want to be connected? Mm with the king of kings and the lord of lords forget about all these little clicks hallelujah all these little fake false societies all these little secret societies which are not of god hallelujah ah but everything that's not of god is coming down hallelujah only what's of god is going to stand let the church shout hallelujah Ah, I declare, Sister Lucille, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. We must persevere, huh? Because there is a spiritual harvest. Hallelujah. Ah, and we must be the laborers that's going to bring it in. Let the church shout glory. Mm. Hallelujah. We pray according to Matthew 9. 37, hallelujah. Then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the labors are few, hallelujah. And we are witness, hallelujah. I've heard, hallelujah, people all over, hallelujah, that have churches saying, hallelujah, we need some more help, hallelujah. We need some more help we need some capable help hallelujah ah but tell somebody the harvest is right hallelujah and we've got to bring them on in hallelujah we've got to go in the hedges hallelujah and to the highways and compel them hallelujah we may not be in our physical church buildings hallelujah but they can come online hallelujah ah to this e-church hallelujah ah and get the unadulterated word of god hallelujah and god hallelujah will send his word forth hallelujah with power hallelujah that they may be saved, hallelujah, may repent of their sins, be baptized in his name, and he promised he'll fill them with the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, and we'll disciple them to do those things that are true and right according to God, hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God, my God, hallelujah. We've got to be true, Zion, hallelujah. We've got to speak truth, hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God, hallelujah, it hurts my heart, hallelujah, to hear of so many false prophets, hallelujah, people that got their sign down and perpetrating sin every day. God is not in that, hallelujah, for the Bible says that he that practices sin is of the devil. I don't care how many followers they have, how many churches they have, he that practices sin is of his father, the devil. Let the church shout hallelujah. Oh, we've got to bring him in, Zion. Mm. Ah, because it can be very disappointing. Hallelujah. Isaiah 17, 11 says, declares, in that day, in the day, shalt thou make thy plant to grow. And in the morning shall thou make thy seed to flourish. But the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief and desperate sorrow. Zion, I declare unto you, I have never seen so many sorrowful and pitiful people in my life. It's pitiful and it's sorrowful. And it all is not due to COVID. I know nowadays we blaming everything on COVID. Hallelujah. Everything is because of COVID-19. No. But sometimes, and I believe it's most of the times, that it's because of sin. Some of us just don't want to stop sinning. Hallelujah. And the wages of sin is death. That's the cost you're going to have to pay in the end. You want to keep on sipping, tipping, tripping, fornicating, home morning, hallelujah, drinking, smoking, doping, and doing all that? Hey, just know it's going to cost me. 
my life. And not only this life, but it's going to cause my soul to be eternally separated from God. And you don't want that. That's why I'm here this morning. Hallelujah. That's why I'm praying with you this morning. Because I want you to be saved. Hallelujah. I want you to be sanctified. I want you to be separated from sin. Hallelujah. That you can be ready to go to heaven with the Lord when he calls your name. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right. And somebody's wrong. Ah, Jeremiah 12, 13 declares, they have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. Come on, Zion. They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your revenues because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the harvest of sin. You hear me? That's the harvest of sin. Ah, but God got a harvest for us, which is the spiritual harvest. Hallelujah. That we're going to reap if we faint not. And that's according to the scripture in Matthew 9, 37. Thus said, then said he unto his disciples, the harvest is truly plenteous, but the labors are few. Hallelujah. And God knows we need help. Hallelujah. But he have not let us down. We have hope in him. And we can know without a shadow of a doubt, Zion, that is all working for our good. Everything that's going forth. We're in the will of the Lord. Hallelujah. Obeying his word is working for our good. We pray according to Mark 4, 29. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put it in the sickle because the harvest is come. Zion, the Lord reminded me, hallelujah, and I know some of you all don't know my testimony and some of you know a portion of it. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, hallelujah. But the Lord have reminded me, said, Val, I'm going to do what I promised you. I remember in 2004, hallelujah, when we first founded the church, the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, about a few years later, the Lord had promised me, I'm going to do something spectacular for you. Hallelujah. And it was three things. And during that time, hallelujah, I was thinking, oh my God. Hallelujah. And then he gave me the vision. Hallelujah. I was just sitting there and it was like a big balloon, a white milky balloon. It just blew up so large. Hallelujah. And then the Lord said, I'm going to blow your mind. That was before all this popular song, song that uh, Bashar Mitchell and all the rest of them singing. I'm going to blow your mind. Hey, the Lord had told me that. He said, I'm going to blow your mind. <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, you're going to do something shown sure up huge. Hallelujah. Because I have a huge imagination. Hallelujah. But God, he reminded me the other day. He said, girl, I'm not a man that I should lie. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I wait on the Lord and I be of good courage. Hallelujah. And in due time, Hallelujah. That's at the right time. Hallelujah. And his appointed time. He's going to strengthen me. Hallelujah. And he's doing it every day. He's giving me the fortitude. Hallelujah. To continue. Keep on going. Thou present. Because I haven't forgot what I said to you. I'm not a God that got dementia. And I don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Hallelujah. What I said, I remember. Hallelujah. And I'm going to do it for you. So just continue to stay in the lane, stay in the vein that I have given you. Hallelujah. That's why it's my determination not to try to be like anybody. Hallelujah. Because it's only one me and that's all I can be like me. Hallelujah. What you see is what you get. Hallelujah. This is the true real. Hallelujah. Valerie Denise Emery Clark. Hallelujah. Let the church shout glory. Hallelujah. Because we glorify God for who he have made us to be. Hallelujah. When he made us, he said, and it is good. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, it shall come to pass. Luke 10, 2, as we pray according to the word. 
Hallelujah. Therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. And that is our prayer this morning. Lord, send them on in. Hallelujah. Send them forth. Hallelujah. Send them on in. Hallelujah. I know they're coming. The Lord showed me a vision. Hallelujah. And I shared it with my family. Hallelujah. Many of you know that we're on 5829 West 15th Avenue in Gary, Indiana. That's 15 block blocks from the main street, which is Broadway in Gary. The Lord showed me, hallelujah, in this vision, people were coming all the way. They were just trolls of them coming all the way from Broadway down 15th Avenue, just trying to get in, hallelujah, before it's everlasting too late. I tell you, God got an appointed time set, hallelujah, that he's going to show himself great in this land. Do not be weary and well doing, mm, for you're going to reap if you faint not. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, my, 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 my. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, hallelujah, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal. They, they that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. I'm telling you, we're going to be rejoicing. Tell somebody, we're going to be bringing them in. <laughs> you got me excited this morning. We're going to be bringing them in, hallelujah souls for the harvest. That's why we got to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not in any other name, but the saving name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, therefore be not weary and well-doing. Hallelujah. For we're going to reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Tell somebody I got a reward coming. Mm. I got a reward coming. Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, said in his word, I got a reward coming. Let the church shout glory, hallelujah. Excuse me, hallelujah. Mm. As we pray according to the scripture, hallelujah. Ah, for all the soul winners this morning, Daniel 12, 3 declares, hallelujah, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness as the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forevermore hallelujah ah hallelujah it's not you and it's not me but it's god god is gonna do it oh my my time is out hallelujah let me plead here a little bit more hallelujah for all the humble servants hallelujah Matthew 10, 42, we pray, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of my little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, let me say this and close with this. Hallelujah. That I thank God. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, my God. Mm. Excuse me. Hallelujah for the willing workers. Hallelujah. Ah, my God, because of social distancing. Hallelujah. I don't have 130,000 people around me. Hallelujah. But I just want to stop and thank God for my son. Hallelujah. Sergeant Bernard Clark Jr. Hallelujah. Better known as BJ. Hallelujah. And Brother Daniel Deacon Daniel Ghostin. Hallelujah. Ah, because they help support, hallelujah, with the Food Bank of Northwest Indiana and the Food Pantry Ministry, hallelujah. Ah, my God, I just want to thank God for them and I tell them, hallelujah. I may not have $5,000 to put in your bank account right now, I may not, hallelujah. Ah, but I want you to know that God will not forget what you do for his people. Hallelujah. 
Uh, God won't forget, hallelujah, Zion, for what you do for him, hallelujah, for every seed that you sow into this ministry, hallelujah, to help us to continue to go forth, hallelujah. Everything has skyrocketed, hallelujah. Insurances, hallelujah, lights, hallelujah. Everything continues to go forth, hallelujah. But God has sustained us. Thanks be unto God that gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Ah, for your love, your seeds of love shown. Hallelujah. As you continue to support this ministry to all the gospel troopers. Hallelujah. Ah, because we couldn't do it without you. Hallelujah. But we thank God, hallelujah, for you knowing that you don't have to be weary and well-doing. Hallelujah. Because God got a payday for you. Come on, help me close out here. Type in the chat, God's got a payday for you. Hallelujah. Ah, because the Bible declares on in the scripture, Hallelujah, that God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hallelujah. Ah, thank God. Hallelujah. It's been real and I know it's time to go. Hallelujah. Ah, but I pray this morning. Hallelujah. Ah, that you do good. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, let me just share with you, hallelujah, 13 commands, and I'm going to really let you go for real, hallelujah. Hallelujah, the Bible declares to let us walk in the spirit. God commanded this, walk in the spirit according to Galatians 5.25. Let us not desire vain glory, Galatians 5.26. Let us not provoke Hallelujah, one another, God, Galatians 5, 26. Let us not envy one another, Galatians 5, 26. Restore a sinning brother, Galatians 6, 1. Consider self not above falling, Galatians 6, 1. Bear ye burdens of others, Galatians 6, 2. Test on our test on work. Test on work, Galatians 6, 4. Bear on responsibility, Galatians 6, 5. Support the ministry, Galatians 6, 6. Be not deceived, Galatians 6, 7. Be not weary and well-doing, Galatians 6, 9. Do good to all men, Galatians 6, 10. Hallelujah. Just to leave that with you. And in conjunction with that, it is our prayer this morning. Hallelujah. The Lord, as we seek you, the more hallelujah that you give us the grace to glorify you. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you, Zion. I love you this morning. May the Lord, hallelujah, keep you. Hallelujah. And surround you with his glory. Mm. Hallelujah. He'll make you shine. Ah! Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God will do it. Hallelujah. Well, men and brethren all over this land will know that you are a light in this dark, perverted world. Keep your sign up. But make sure. Hallelujah. That you're doing what thus said the Lord. Not only in the light, but in the dark. That's what your integrity is all about. I pray for you. I pray God's continued grace be upon you as you go forward. Hallelujah. Of course, many of you have seen the post of the flyer. Hallelujah. Sunday is a special day for us. There's no service, hallelujah, but this e-service that we'll be celebrating, hallelujah, five years as pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, hallelujah, 12 years as co-pastor, 
Hallelujah. And the Lord have blessed me with 25 years in the evangelistic, the preaching, teaching, glorifying God ministry. And I am so grateful. I just want you to come on live with me Sunday at 6 a.m. So we could just pray and thank God. Hallelujah. For the more. Hallelujah. Because God got a way. Hallelujah. Of setting his approval on all that we do. And we thank you for joining us this morning. And we pray that God sustain you in the ministry that he has given you and that you continue to acknowledge him in all of your ways, knowing that he will direct your path. Well, it's been high time to pray with Pastor Val. And now it's time to go. Hallelujah. And I just want you to know, hallelujah, that my prayer is that you glorify God. That was our focus prayer this morning. Glorify God. Don't stop. Hallelujah. Glorify God even the more. Raise your sign higher. I am one of them today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. It has been a privilege to have you on this live. Hallelujah. I pray that you'll like and share. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry. Sow a seed into the ministry today that God, hallelujah, will bless you abundantly even the more. Hallelujah. And I pray that the wind of God, hallelujah, blow you to the destiny that he has for you. I've been your host, founder, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, Valerie D. Clark. I love you. Be safe, be prayerful. Until we meet again, shalom, bye-bye.